When you see these circles in the snow, you know there's a home brewer in the neighborhood. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Tonight I am drinking my my session IPA, and I've got it in my BrewTubers glass. So let's go ahead and uh, I've already uh, smelled it out, and uh, I I used the hops uh, Centennial, Amarillo, and Citra in there, and uh, smell wonderful. I just want to dig in. So cheers, everyone. Nice. It's 4.8 percent. Uh, it's got it's got a very very balanced hop the whole way through and uh, and actually I'm actually sending one of these uh, to Nate so I bottled it up and I call it my slow mo whoops can't see it slow mo IPA so I call it slow mo because I'm taking uh, off of uh, New Belgium with their slow ride. So this past weekend, I got together with a couple people from my homebrew club, and we are doing the smash off. We actually got 22 brewers to do a smash off, and uh, the base grains we're using, we're using uh, five hops, and we're using five base grains. Base grains we're using is uh, Avangard uh, Munich. I think it's a 10L. We are using Avangard uh, Premium Pale. We are using uh, Golden Promise. We are using Maris Otter, and one more, and 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 Pearl. And we're also using the Pearl Malt. So the hops we're using is uh, we're using Apollo, El Dorado, Galaxy, Zythos. I can't remember the other one. I'm, I'm trying. To, I'll, I'll remember it though. So. Uh, we are totally stoked with uh, getting 25, almost 25 brewers uh, and 22, 22 brewers, and uh, we're going to be doing. We're we've pretty much all done the smash already. Uh, we got two brew tubers that are uh, a total of three brew tubers, including me. Uh, Barrage Brewer, he's doing it, and uh, and Homebrew 62, Rick, he's also doing it. So we've got three uh, brew tubers in the smash off. It's freaking fantastic. So we'll have some video and everything. So I'm probably going to get a couple of my neighbors. Uh, they're going to be in the they're in the smash off. I'll get them in the videos also. Oh, so mine. I got the Munich. My smash was the Munich and Galaxy. So uh, since I was running it, I pretty much. Uh, Gave everyone a beer, a beer uh, Smith sheet, and we are shooting for. Uh, everyone's getting 10 pounds of grains, and we're shooting for right around 45 IBUs, and then everyone's given an extra ounce so they can do it either flame out or they can do a dry hop or whatever they want to do. So uh, everything should have finished out like right around 10.52, which is about 75% efficiency. Uh, mine. Uh, I didn't hit my temps when I was doing my mash, so my uh, uh, I got about 76% efficiency. So uh, it was a little bit low, so I think mine's going to be a little bit dry. Uh, Leanne, she did hers. Hers was a little high, so hers are going to be is going to be really multi. I always go for uh, a little bit more multi. And Bo, when he did his, his was like dead nuts on, like right around 154. So, so anyways. Uh, what else we got? Oh, so anyways, uh, I went to Walmart and I found for our uh, for shipping the beer that I'm going to be sending to Nate here soon. I found a box of one gallon, one gallon Ziplocs, but great value, of course. It's a Walmart brand 
for less than five dollars. So it was like four eighty five or four eighty four or something like that. And you can get a bomber in one of these. Uh, you can get twelve ounce little little guy. And then I also went. So that was the the deal of the week is buying the the hundred hundred pack. And I bought some bubble wrap too because during the uh, during the uh, uh, when I had to send my beers to Nate, I was running a little low, and mine looked like crap when I sent it to him. So, so I went and invested in some bubble wrap. The bubble wrap was only like ten dollars. Uh, bags were five dollars. So I'm set for sending out beer mail. Uh, and speaking of which, Andrew Roberts, I have your six pack here. I uh, took me a while. Uh, we waited until it got a little bit warmer. It is uh, like last week we hit the freezing a couple days. The week before we hit freezing a couple days. Didn't want to send out any beer to get it uh, uh, get it frozen during the mail. But you're uh, being patient. Uh, actually, I bottled my peanut butter, my chocolate peanut butter stout for you. So, so anyways, this is your six pack. Uh, I will send that. Oh, reason why I'm sending him a six pack is because we played fantasy football, and I recruited him to play fantasy football in uh, Man Bear Pig's uh, fantasy football league called I think it's Brewtubers, and the Brewtubers uh, fantasy football league, and uh, and he won. So uh, congrats again to Andrew. I know I've sent it to you a whole bunch of times, so uh, I will be getting that to you probably this week or next week. And uh, I already got my bags. I got my bowl wrap, so we have nothing stopping me from sending this stuff out to you. So, I don't think there's anything really going on. So, I am going to let you go. Uh, I do have some picks from the, uh, from the brew day. Didn't take much video. Uh, there might be a little video clip also, uh, but I took one like short little video, and then Leanne, uh, she's she's actually the president of my homebrew club. Uh, first did her first all grain, so uh, congrats to you, Leanne, and uh, I helped her do that. And uh, we had we had a really good a uh, really good day. So uh, I think that's about it, and I am out of here. I'll see you guys next week. And sorry, so short. Did my? I wish I would have had some more footage, but it was kind of a busy day on my brew day, and I missed last week because I didn't have anything going on. I had uh, did the Brown Warrior the weekend before. That thing smells fantastic, and I did some bottling. Uh, I did the bottle, or I actually kegged my chocolate, uh, my chocolate caramel. I hadn't added the caramel to it because the chocolate. The chocolate milk stout tastes fantastic. I'm going to, but I'm going to, uh, I'm charging it up, and then I'm going to bottle some of the chocolate milk stout, and then I'll add the caramel to it, so then I'll have the roll for uh, St. Patty's Day. So St. Patty's Day weekend, that's next weekend. Next weekend. That's awesome. So I am out here. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. Frank Ortez is at it again. <laughs> We got more snow this past week, and we're using it for our advantage. Help it cool down. We had frozen pipe, but we got that thawed out. We're doing a smash off today. Frank Gore's head, he did. Which one was that? Scott. Scottish Ale. He's doing the Scottish Ale. But we have three smash beers going on. We got Leanne. Oop, there's Leanne. Hi. Hey. She's the president of our homebrew club, and she's actually doing her first all grain. It's very exciting. So hers, what's your uh, what's your smash? My smash? Your gold is it Golden Promise? Golden Promise and Zythos. That's your smash. Thank you, Larry. <laughs> and uh, Bo, he's doing a uh, he's doing a pale premium pale bang. I think it's Vanguard. And he's doing Zythos also, and I am doing Galaxy, and I'm doing uh, Munich, Munich 10L. So uh, we are getting our smash on, three of them. And Frank Gore's head, he actually did an extract, so he got one done after uh, we started. So here we go.